The NFL Draft is done and over, and I am going to be breaking down each and every team and grading out their draft. So check back every day because one team I will do every single day, and I'll have it up here on YouTube for you to watch. We'll go over every prospect that they drafted as well as some key undrafted free agents that they may bring in. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section, and I'll be sure to address them for you. Also, just be aware of my draft grades. No one fails the draft, especially right after it. Even no one in this draft is going to get a D or an F from me because they, everyone had a talent. Everyone did something. So if you think the grades are a little bit high, that's just me not going to too much extremes. And maybe in three or four years when we look back on this draft, then we can see who really succeeded and who really failed. So sit back, relax, enjoy me as I break down every single team this year. Draft expert Shane Hallam shows off his knowledge. Writing mock drafts, prospects from the best college. Breaking down tape, he might develop a man crush. Tearing up guys, taking questions in a rush. Comparisons, learning lessons. Shane saves the day, oy vey. Hulk or banner, doesn't matter. Listen, cause here's who can play. Alright everyone, we're back for the Chicago Bears. The Chicago Bears didn't have a first round pick, didn't have a second round pick, and had to make do. And there was one guy that they were targeting and kind of came out before the second day of the draft. The third round, and that was Major Wright, safety out of Florida, and they got him. Major Wright is an interesting player. This past year... He was competing with Will Hill for that safety spot. You basically got benched for a portion of it, and you didn't really see it on film. You go back two years, and he looks like a first-round pick. It's a guy that has talent. It's a guy that's very intelligent. He gets to the ball. He makes plays. So you got to like that. And the Bears are going to address the safety position. They traded for Chris Harris. They, they got it, brought in Major Wright. They brought in other players. They've really been looking to fix up the safeties. So I think Major Wright has a shot at starting from day one, and I like the pick for them. I think he fits their team. I don't think Major Wright would be a fit on every single NFL team, but for the Bears, I like it. In the fourth end, they got Corey Wooten, defensive end out of Northwestern. I like this pick a lot. I'm a big Wooten fan. If you've watched a couple of my rankings videos, I've always had him pretty high on my rankings. When healthy, Corey Wooten is a player who's big, you know, his size, he uses to his advantage, and he has athleticism for his size. He gets in the backfield. He makes lots of tackles for losses on running backs. Excellent against the run. I think he also has a little bit of pass rush. I think depending on the situation, you can move him inside a defensive tackle at an under-tackle position and use him in different ways. So I think it's going to be intriguing how they set him up on this defense. I do think there are better fits for him out there, so I'm a little scared that the team where he got drafted may hurt him. But because they got Jerron Gilbert last year, I think he's kind of a similar player with a similar skill set. So we'll see how they use Corey Wooten, but I really like that pick. In the fifth, they got Joshua Moore out of Kansas State, a cornerback. Joshua Moore, probably more of a reserve player. He has pretty good speed, not great coverage ability. I think some had him higher than I did, had him a little overrated. Going in the fifth round, I don't think it was the best pick for them. Yes, they did need corner depth, and he at least gives them that. And I think he gives them a special teams threat. But I think there are other ways to look, especially when you don't have a first or second round pick. In the sixth, then they took Dan Lefevre, quarterback out of Central Michigan. A player a lot of people felt was the second or third best quarterback in this draft. I wasn't quite as high on him as some other people. I think he does have potential to be a starter in the NFL, but he has a lot of work to do. Similar to Tim Tebow, who did go in the first round, but we know the work that Tim Tebow has to do to how he releases the ball to be successful in the NFL. Dan Lefevre has the same type of issues, but it's more with his footwork and how he uses his passes. You know, he can't. He does, really does not look off defenders. What Dan Lefevre does is he has very poor footwork in terms of getting out. He's very easily rattled in the pocket. Uh, he, you know, he doesn't really use his stance 
as a power stance to fit the ball in there and it's just really using his arm. He needs to be taught how to use his body, use his legs and his feet to add power, add accuracy, and add the correct spin to the ball. And if Dale Fever can do that, he can be an NFL starter. I like his fit with Mike Martz. If he stays there in Chicago, I think it's a solid backup that they really needed for Jay Cutler because Caleb Haney wasn't going to get it done if Cutler went down. So I like the pick in the sixth round. I think it's well worth a shot. Then in the seventh, they got Jamarcus Webb out of West Texas A&M, a guy they've already signed, a big, athletic, small school player. You see a lot of teams take a chance on these guys late in drafts because, hey, these are the guys that can work out, that can be the Jari Evans and go to Pro Bowls down the line on the offensive line because no one really knows about them, and you can teach offensive linemen how to be successful. So I, I like this pick as well. You know, it's tough to grade a draft without a first and second round pick. I like the Jamarcus Webb pick, don't love it. The Joshua Moore pick, all right, I think it was he was even a little overvalued in the fifth. Dalen Fever was fine. I like the Wooten pick. Major Wright is up and down for me. I give him a B-, minus, mostly because they didn't have those two picks and because I still think that there were better safeties on the board when they picked Major Wright that could be better instant impact players for them. I don't mind this Bears draft. I think they could have found a couple players here that could be successful in the future. But I also could see this draft just completely falling apart and not giving them a player at all. I could see Major Wright busting. I could see Corey Wooten not working in the system. I could see Dan Lefevre being a mediocrity for the rest of his career. And Moore and Webb could be off the team in a year. So it's really a risky draft in my opinion. And we'll see how that works out for them. In terms of undrafted free agents, one guy that I know a lot of people liked was Freddie Barnes, wide receiver out of Bowling Green. He's a player that was very, very productive at Bowling Green. He doesn't have the size. He doesn't have the speed. He doesn't have the elite athleticism or the ability to break away from a corner, but he runs good routes and has great hands and really isn't the best fit for Mike Mart's system, but I think he's a guy that can be successful in there. So I hope he gets his shot to make this team. So there you go, Chicago Bears, B-minus. Stay tuned for next week when we get into the Dallas Cowboys.